this is the setup because it's winning 400 and that's really yummy it's just such a flattering this is the setup right now we have a garbage bag because i don't have a cape <laughs> and the dye is in the roots we're gonna show the process over here we ordered new brushes and this is the dye we are trying this time and then i use this volume I don't know where this is from. I think my sister-in-law gave this to me. I think it's Jackie Barga from the salon. My hair is dyed. It's the next day. I feel like you can't tell a difference because my hair was so dark and I was dyeing it a lighter color without bleaching it. I don't think it is the real color of what it should have been. But the good thing is my head looks even, I think. Let's see from the back. blow dry my hair this morning once again it just like wasn't working today probably because i dropped it on the floor the other day i don't know but i have to fix a few pieces i'll probably just redo my hair on saturday for my cousin's party today's my sister's birthday she turns 21 which is not as exciting as the states because we're legal when we're 19 but she would be legal in the states today so yeah um this is my outfit it's like casino vegas theme so i'm wearing cherries to match my cherry nails i have to fix this finger it just popped off packing orders this is the outfit today i have my mini skirt on from american eagle which is so short because i shrunk it in the wash and then i have just a t-shirt on from shein and this little mesh top over on top because it's completely see-through and when we went out this morning to get coffee and food i wore this purse I just got a package. I have no idea what this is. I'm assuming it's some kind of PR. There's no, um, it's a big box. So I don't know what's in here. Watch it be the tiniest thing ever, and it's not even that exciting. Oh my gosh, they already sent this. I'm excited about this because I love to cook, and last time I got a frying pan sent to me, I used it all the time so i'm very excited about this that means i have to make dinner tonight <laughs> I thought I vlogged a lot last week and I didn't so now I am going to do a little sheet and all I bought a bunch of stuff for summer and I'm having a really hard time debating if I should keep it or not It will help me decide what to keep and yes, I am wearing this shirt Wish I returned it because I don't love how it looks but the saying is cute So it's a good lounge shirt I also never showed my hair what it looks like after I dyed it. I feel like I can't tell if I look the same or different, but my roots are one color now, which is good. But we're gonna put it back in a ponytail because it is greasy and it's hair wash day and I have a hair oil in my hair right now and my hair feels so soft. I have the Jisoo, I think that's how you pronounce it, and I have the Moroccan oil. But starting off with Shein things, we have stuff to make friendship bracelets for Taylor Swift's concert, which I don't have tickets for yet, but I want to be prepared. And I'm very upset because the, the beads I bought are too small. I didn't read the measurements and they're so tiny and it sucks because these colors are so perfect. There's Folklore, Fearless, Midnight, Lover, like every single of them I can make with these beads. And it came with the string, a little spoon, but they are so tiny. So, and I don't know how to make bracelets. Never went to camp. So I don't know how to make those like twisty ones, but if I learn how to make those like intertwined bracelets, then they'd be good enough to use for the letters. I bought 500 letters and then I bought gold letters. 
And these ones are a little smaller, so maybe I can make a bracelet. I might try making it one tonight. The gold letters, I probably should have bought two packs because this does not look like a lot of letters, but it would be good for like Fearless, Folklore, Evermore, Torture Poets. I think the gold letters would be cute. And then I bought more string because I didn't know this came with string. And then I got these pink hearts because when I do get tickets for this concert, my theme is going to be Lover. So how cute are these pink hearts? I love them so much. And then I got pink sunglasses that are hearts. And I'm going to glue on something to do with Lover. I wouldn't wear them, but I would have them like on my head and I would wear them for photos. They sell them at the dollar store, but I wanted this certain pink color, which they only had online, not at the dollar store. At the dollar store, they have like purple and red. I'm going to have my outfit ready. So when I do get tickets, I'm good to go. And then I got some clothes. I'm going to show the pieces and then I will do a little try on in my mirror because I'm going to be filming it for TikTok. The first one is this gray tank top. And I think it's supposed to imitate Brandy Melville or Aritzia. Aritzia came out with this last year and it sold out. I was never able to buy it. So I picked up this up from Shein and it's like a knit material. I love how it's like not see-through. It just fits so nicely. I can't wait to wear this. This is going to be a go-to in the summer. Plus our summers are not that hot recently. So on the days it's chillier, that's going to be good. And then this tank top, I love so much. I honestly want to buy this in like five colors, but I don't need that many clothes. I'm trying really hard to think about like what I actually need and what I'm gonna wear. And if I'm going to wear it, if I'm not, I need to return it because there's so many things I buy I never end up wearing and then I donate it. So this is gonna be something I'm going to wear. Do I need it in eight colors? No. So we're probably just gonna keep it with this one color. The next shirt's gonna be better to show in the try on. I love it so much, but it doesn't fit properly. So I don't know if it's worth keeping. I feel like it just was not made properly. I love like how it's like a tie back shirt and it's like so cute, but I don't know if it's like worth keeping. I need to think about that. And then this shirt, I love this shirt so much and I'm so upset. I was gonna get this in black and pink and I was gonna wear the pink one on my birthday and I canceled the pink one last minute, but the black one's so cute and the pink one would have been even more adorable for my birthday. Now I need to figure out what to wear for my birthday because none of these birthday tops worked out. The slit down the middle, you'll see better in the try on. Love it so much. For some reason, I sized up to a medium in this and it's kind of big. This shirt, so cute. Can't wait to wear this. It's like a little ditzy floral tank top. Gets prairie vibes. I think I want to wear this when I go flower picking. I just need a pair of denim shorts now because I don't know what I'm going to wear this with because this is really cute with jeans. But I don't have any shorts to wear because all my shorts are printed and all my skirts are printed. So I need a pair of denim shorts. And then I got these white shorts. I got these in a large because I was starting to get all my shorts in a large machine because they're just so like tiny. But I think I could have got a medium in these. Because I'm treating these as like my beach shorts, I think it's okay that they're a little big. They are double lined, which is so nice. They're not really see-through. Like they're not 100% opaque. You can like barely see my hand through it, which is so nice. Moving on to pants. I've been wanting a pair of just like plain, like just pants that are like comfy, not jeans. For days in the summer where it's kind of cold, but you don't want to wear jeans. I kept trying on linen pants. I tried them on from everywhere. Zara, H&M, Garage, Arden. They're all see-through. And I'm like, I don't want see-through pants. Like I know they're meant to be thin and loose, but I don't want see-through pants. They're striped, which I don't know if stripes, I'm gonna look like I'm wearing banana and pajama vibes next year because right now stripes is all in. Who knows what's gonna be in next year. I'm just still gonna wear them. Don't really care. But these fit so perfect. I got these in a size small. They are the perfect length, the perfect fit. I love them so much. I'm very excited. I'm planning to wear these on Sunday when we go to a little festival with like a little tank top. Moving on to things that I don't really know if I should keep. And because of that, I think I'm going to just return just because they're $5 doesn't mean we have to keep them. I love gingham shorts so much. And I thought, you know what? I want a pair of colored ones because everyone on Pinterest has like red, blue, green. And it's so cute. And I put these on and they are so cute. But like... Besides a white shirt, how else do you wear them? And then when am I gonna wear these? Because are they weird? I can't tell. Like right now holding these up, they look so cute. I'm just trying to envision like when I would wear these. I would wear these like 
strawberry picking. Am I going strawberry picking? I don't know, but this is a maybe. Thought these were gonna be a keep, but I decided to return them. And it's sad because I love them, but they're uncomfortable. So in the summer, they're gonna be even more uncomfortable. They have this like ruffle hem on the shorts. So this ruffle rubs in between my legs and gives me so much irritation. And I can only imagine when it's hot and then the rubbing, how red my legs will be. So sadly, we are returning these. Sure, I'm not even gonna bother trying on. It's such a fail. It like chokes me so bad. It's one of those tie tops again. I was good planning to wear this for my birthday, but it doesn't fit. So I can't wear it. And this shirt, love the idea of it. It's just like not executed well. It's like a little white cute tank top. It's like so cute, but it just makes your like boobs look weird. And it's like a lot of side boob. In other news, for the last few days, like weekend of my sister's birthday, we went to the casino and I was not down to go to the casino. I just finished going on a walk, took a shower, washed off all my makeup, did all my retinol products for the night. I was lying on my bed at like 7 p.m. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna have an early night. And my sister called me and she's like, let's go to the casino. And I was like, I don't wanna go. I'm like in my pajamas. I just did my skincare, like I don't wanna go. She was sad, so I went and I ended up winning $470, which is chef's kiss because I never went at the casino. And I actually won $511, but then I got greedy and kept betting. And then those last few bets didn't win. So I went down to $470. Thank goodness I stopped at $470 because I could have kept going. But then after when I, I was playing like digital craps, which they never have in the casinos here. I've only ever seen them in Las Vegas. And I guess they're new because... I was winning and then after when I walked away there was like 30 numbers that came out and none of them were any of the numbers I was betting on so I was like okay it's good that I walked away and kept my money so now I have birthday cash so so far I bought the clay for my birthday because I'm planning to have like a I'm planning to have like a little clay night friends are gonna come over we're gonna make some like pottery stuff clay was expensive it was like 160 dollars so we'll see it's like 10 pounds of clay I don't know how much that is I don't know if that's a lot or a little I think it might be too much, but I don't know what we're making. We'll see. Maybe I went ham, but whatever. I'm just trying to plan my birthday. I was so excited for my birthday weekend and I had all these things planned and I was dumb and I didn't book things and everything booked up. So now I have no plans. So maybe it's best I don't have an outfit for my birthday because I don't know what we're doing. I also got some birthday decorations from Shein, but I don't even know what I'm doing for my birthday. I have to plan that. And this week's been so busy with work. So I haven't been able to think about that. And on top of that, it's my nephew's first birthday and I'm so excited for his birthday. I need to show you the things I bought him because it's so cute. I'm still waiting for some of his presents, but I bought him two pairs of shoes. So I got these shoes from H&M and they're so sweet and so cute. His mom wanted a pair of Converse for him. How cute, they're so little. It's gonna be a fun time. It's safari theme, there's special guests coming. Maybe I can try to film some without filming the children. So tomorrow's all day is planning for him. So I'm trying to get as much work done as I can today because his mom's coming over so we can decorate the whole house. And we will see how it turns out because we have a lot of decorations. I think too much decorations. Earlier I made these like raspberry peanut butter things that I saw on TikTok. I see it all the time and I've always wanted to try it. So today we had some like raspberries that like were kind of gross to eat, but I thought would be perfect to freeze. So I am about to melt some chocolate and finish it off. It's kind of nasty on this plate, but it's just basically raspberries with peanut butter and then you're supposed to melt some chocolate on top. I'm quite excited to see how these are gonna turn out. So I think I'm gonna melt just like one piece of chocolate. I think that should be enough. My other vlogs, I was showing a lot of like the candy salads and everything, but in that other vlog that I made, I've been doing a lot of weekly vlogs, I was showing how I'm cleansing. And the cleansing has been really helping. I haven't been eating like any sweet treats. I think something like this as a sweet treat is better than eating like actual candy. And I haven't had a sweet treat in a long time. And because these are frozen, I think when we pour the chocolate, it's gonna automatically harden and then I can eat one. You're supposed to put peanut butter and Greek yogurt and then chocolate, but I don't have Greek yogurt. And they dip the whole thing in chocolate, but that's a lot of chocolate. So I'm just gonna drizzle it on top. I'm just gonna drizzle a little chocolate and then we're just gonna spread it i don't know if it's gonna stick because it's already hardened 
Oh, the chocolate's already hardened because it's frozen. That tastes like a peanut butter and jam sandwich. Mmm. That's really yummy. Their chocolate completely hardened already. I think that's the end of this video because I need to get a video up for this week. We will film next week all the birthday festivities happening. I definitely want to get like brunch boxes one day maybe. Don't know when that's going to happen. Hopefully we end up for dinner somewhere. I don't know what the vibe is but I gotta plan it. So I need to get to editing this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.